This is a Fox News alert. President Trump has just finished speaking to the Heritage Foundation in Washington, where he promoted a Republican plan to reform America's tax code. Good evening. Welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. In just a minute, we'll talk about a meeting at the Weinstein Company in Los Angeles today. Harvey was part of that. Also, there's new information about the Las Vegas security guard who apparently vanished into thin air, one of the rare eyewitnesses from inside the hotel. We'll have the latest on that. But first, here's part of what the president just said about his tax plan. Our framework provides a one-time low tax on profits currently sitting offshore so that this money can come back right where it started, come back home to America where it belongs. And believe me, we can use it in this country. We need it so badly for so many things, including infrastructure, which we'll also be doing. We will eliminate the penalty on bringing home, and we have to do that, future earnings. My Council of Economic Advisors estimates that this change, along with a lower business tax rate, would likely give the typical American household around a $4,000 pay raise. And that's money that'll be spent in our economy. Our tax plan will ensure that companies stay in America, grow in America, and hire in America. Well, for reaction to the president's address and his tax plan, we're joined tonight by Fox chief political analyst Britt Hume. Britt, thanks for joining us. It seems like taxes may be the last issue that most Republicans in the Congress can agree on. They're all for tax cuts. That's part of what it is to be a Republican, I think. Is there any way that this doesn't pass? Well, you've got a very narrow majority in the Senate. There are benefits in this, in this uh, tax code now that would have to be stricken to make room for the cut so you don't have a big, um, a big blowout in terms of the budget. And so then they will be fiercely supported, supported and defended by those affected. So they'll be, you know, it'll, it won't be easy, not with a narrow majority of the kind that, that we have now in, among Republicans. Democrats, by and large, do not favor tax cuts, uh, particularly tax cuts that they will inevitably say benefit the rich. And it's not that easy a sell, Tucker, for this reason. For one thing, every time you pass tax cuts, uh, and you, you heard the president tonight say, you know, they're going uh, to increase the number of people in the zero bracket. You have fewer and fewer people actually paying taxes. Right. That is to say, fewer and people people who stand to gain when taxes are cut, because it is simply a mathematical truism that when you cut taxes, the people who benefit are the people who pay taxes. And as, and as that population shrinks, the constituency for tax cuts shrinks with it. So this is not such an easy deal. I would say, however, that there's momentum provided by a certain Republican desperation to get something big done because they failed so spectacularly on Obamacare repeal. And this is the other big ticket legislative item. Uh, and I think there's a widespread feeling in the Republican caucus in both houses that they need to get this done. So the debate among Republicans, I think, outside of the Congress is, does this make good on the president's promises to his core constituency, the American middle class, during the campaign? Will this, do, from what you can tell so far, benefit that group, middle class Americans? Well, here's, there are two ways to, to look at tax cut benefits, uh, Tucker. There's the indirect kind of benefit where you pay a certain amount of taxes this year, and because the new com law comes along, your taxes will be reduced by X amount. That's right. one way you benefit. The principal purpose of a large tax cut of this kind, especially where you're also cutting the corporate rate, is, is not just to put money in the pockets of consumers to spend it. It is to encourage investment and growth in the economy, which benefits everybody. And I think it's fair to say, Tucker, that the principal benefits, the major benefits, the most important benefit uh, in economic terms of, these of a big tax cut is to stimulate the economy. So people ben benefit indirectly, that is to say, you know, uh, jobs are created, uh, there's competition for hiring, wages right. go up, um, and it's a, it, there really is a possibility of a rising tide that does lift all boats. But when you're selling a tax cut, as you could tell by what the president was saying tonight, you often have to focus on the narrower question of how much does this, this constituent or that constituent get in savings. Do you think that ordinary Republicans still believe that a rising tide lifts all boats 
because certain boats have You mean ordinary been Republican voters? Yes, ordinary Republican voters who voted for Trump, who was a departure right. in what he said on the campaign from the, the classic Republican orthodoxy on economics. You got the sense that there, I mean, there were a lot of crossover voters who had supported Bernie Sanders and voted for Trump. I wonder if the view among ordinary Republicans is different from the view from Washington on this. I, 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 look, I think that by and large, there's a, broadly speaking, tax cuts tend to be popular. Yeah. Uh, you know, even Democratic voters would like to have their taxes cut. Everybody wants their taxes cut. Uh, and, you know, when you consider the growth of the federal income tax over the years, uh, most people think they pay too much. Uh, although, as I pointed out earlier, Tucker, there are a lot of people who are paying very little in, in federal income taxes. They pay Social Security taxes, they pay state and local taxes, and so on. So everybody has taxes that they would like to see cut. So I think the constituency for it is still there. The constituency for the kind of tax cuts that, that the president is selling, where you're reducing the rates, where you can point to people and say, look at this guy. He's got all this, all, he pay, you know, he's going to get millions in benefits. Well, that's because he pays so much. We live right. in a country, after all, where 10% where of the population, the richer 10%, pay about 70% of the taxes. It, 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 it figures that when taxes are cut, they're going to benefit the most because they pay the most. That is not a particularly good selling point to an ordinary no. taxpayer. No, but that is math. Brett Hume, thank you. You bet, Tucker.